Hello and welcome to another video of PCP Gen AI Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, we are going to use a video processing mechanism using LLM. We are going to focus on YouTube videos only. We will see how you do video summarization, video Q&A. You can ask questions of the video. If the video is too long, you can ask questions of the video. Now, most of the time, so the video is very long, you would struggle with the, the timestamp. So what we could do is asking a question, it'll jump to a video timestamp if the video is long. Let's see that in action. So this is the video that I put together. The video was Langchain and Vertex AI Palm getting started. This is a 25 minutes long video. Now, if you want to understand what was asked in this video, this is a video, YouTube video, and this is a slide. So. From this YouTube video, if you're gonna ask a question, what is this video about? What is the summary? If you ask specific things related to what's been discussed in this video, you could do that as well. So let's see how you do it. You would copy the YouTube URL from here and then go to this notebook. I'm gonna share this notebook in a GitHub. The link to the GitHub link is in the video description section below. So enter the URL here like this, and whoops. So once you enter the URL, you will split the video ID. So let's run it. Now you would now let's do a summary of this video. If I say get summary, and I'm gonna walk you through the entire code in a second, bear with me. So I say get summary video ID, just need the ID of the video. It says that the video introduces Langchain, a framework for developing applications, blah, blah, blah. And also it covers the three primitive models. It also discusses prompts, prompt templates, vector stored. So when you go to a video, I think you would use this to understand what's been discussed in the video and then probably go watch it. Good idea, saves time. Let's do another use case. If you have a question that what is a prompt template in Langchain? And I'm going to use the function get answer. So we're going to look at the function get summary and then get answer. If I run this, what is a prompt template in Langchain? And it's going to answer a prompt template with the data which being spoken in the video. So prompt template is a string that uses used to create a prompt for a model. A prompt template can include variables and blah, blah, blah. So this is what being discussed in the video. It's not a general knowledge or information that this model has. And then how many models are supported from model garden in Langchain, which is discussed in the video. So model garden is a Google model garden. People who are coming to this video directly, three models are supported from the model garden. These are text Python, Python and text embedding echo. Please understand that more and more models are now supported in Model Garden, but the video, the source video, which we are deciphering, was created before the Cloud Next event in August, so uh, August 2023. So at that point in time, the three these three models were supported. Now, if I want to find out which exact location in the video I discussed about how many models are supported, which exact location. Let's look at it. So what it does is there is a metric which says match. How many models are supported? This was the answer. Now, what it did was it gave me the transcript of the location where these keywords were mentioned and if I could run it, you could see that it starts at 227. Minute number 227. And it says that these are the three models supported in the model garden, directly in Langchain, correct? Now, in the, the same information probably I repeated when I came over here. So this is the same YouTube video which we started off. So if you go in here, 227, you would see that, whoops, there is an ad. So let's 
skip this. Okay, so 227, let's look at 227, look at that. So it was able to generate specific point in time outputs to where to go in the video. Let's look at this one. This is another one, which is at 1929, we talked about prompt template. So 1929, which is somewhere here. Look at that, how, how easy it is to understand where it's being discussed. Look at that. So it's 1924. And if I go five seconds, we discussed about prompt templates over here. And then if you scroll even further down, you're gonna see that the 46 person match, the first was one was 56, and the second was 48. So it's gonna scan through all the videos and take you to those locations where you find a match. You are 10.08, so at minute number 10.08. If I go to 10.08, somewhere around here, I discuss the same information. Look at that three primitive models, LLMs, chat, and text embeddings. Look at the power of this use case. Now, let's go back and look at how this was created. So I'll just go on the top and let's walk you through the code. By the way, again, as I said, the notebook is in from the, the notebook is available in the GitHub link uh, in the video description below. So to start with this, I'm gonna install these packages. I'm not gonna do it because it's already done. Once you have installed or run this cell, please ensure that you restart the runtime. Click on runtime and say restart runtime. Next is you go in here and you import. So I'm not worried about this. I'm going to download NLTK. Next is I'm going to use the project ID and the location. Please enter your project ID and your location. And I am going to create a function. All it does is it takes in all these input parameters and responds back with some text. I'm using text bison, which is a DCP palm model. Text bison at the rate 001. I initiate it. Now you can define the, the parameters. Temperature 0 0.02, 102 decode steps top P and top K. For the people, for those who are coming in here for the first time, these are parameters that tune or run the parameters on the model, which is text Python 001. And for the details, you look at my previous video. Now there are a few helper functions. Helper functions meaning get transcript, remove stop word. Please look at it. These are embeddings for video description and generate embeddings. So this is generating embeddings you could use text embedding Gecko, but I was hitting up against Kota and I had a free version. So you would now, could you, you could use TF Hub, Universal Sentence Encoder. I use the same thing, didn't matter to me. So again, helper functions, go look at it and then look at the prompt tuning. So I am getting started with get summary. The prompt is, summarize all the text below in few sentences, and it works perfectly. Get answer, answer the following question based on the context. So I was able to derive context. So look at how I use this to derive context. And finally, jump to timestamp. This was the, the, the function where we went into specific video and we used scipy.spatial. So, Using this and cosine similarity, we were able to reach to the location where you got the, the start. And then finally, you have displayed. So this was the jump to timestamps, get answer, and get summary. So go look at it and let me know if you have questions. And then you are able to run get summary. You are also able to run get answer and jump to timestamps. I hope this was helpful. Please reach out in the comment section below if you have any questions. Thank you so much.